Mr. Figaro, also known as Jerry May, is a barber, not of Seville, but of Sheepshead Bay. He's been clipping hair and hitting hair curling notes for the past 20 years to the joy of his customers who come in for a song and a dance and a razor cut for 12 bucks. Star I've been cutting hair since I'm really 12 years old. Of course, my father was a barber, and the only way I learned is in his barber shop. Uh, that was in? That was in Tashkent in Bukhara in Russia, oh. USSR. And when did you start singing? I started singing, I believe, uh, 14 years old. Already I was singing. Uh -huh. Do you take requests? I do take requests. It's only by request. And the bridge customers, which gives me $5, he gets a song. And if it's a $10 tip, I get a little better song operatic. Oh, oh. And it goes to higher note. What the higher it? note I go, the more tip I get. What if you don't get any tip? What do you do? Well, I don't sing. <laughs> but sing he does, Mr. Figaro, the barber of Sheep's Head Bay. In Sheep's Head Bay, Brooklyn, Steve Powers, Fox News. And there is word that Leona Helm... Gentlemen. Singing is this man's day job, sort of. We'll tell you why he's on the cutting edge of his profession. Part of life around here tonight. All this in a good deal. Miss then. Now back to Ros and Greg in the studio. All right, we'll be watching. Thanks. About the love triangle that played out in a house in New Jersey. Police say because of it, a doctor tried to murder his wife with an injection of insulin. And he draws a crowd wherever he does his job, and his razor has to be sharp. But his voice is neither sharp nor flat. The barber who's part of life around here. And some very dangerous weather could be heading our way. We'll have the exclusive AccuWeather forecast and a good deal more next on Eyewitness News at 6. For about maybe the most famous barber in history. But Brooklyn would never give in to Seville. And so tonight, listen to the Barber of Sheepshead Bay, Steve Hartman's entry into life around here. The sign says haircutting by your singing stylist, Mr. Figaro. The way I figure, oh, he's the third most famous singing barber ever. Second would be Perry Como, who is also a barber, and of course the most famous. Welcome to my shop. Let me cut your mop. Let me save your crap. But like Figaro says, Bugs is too nasal, and... I'm a better barber than Perry Como. That leaves Mr. Figaro as probably the best combination singer-barber oh, yeah. ever. A long time to see. How's your mommy? Good. Okay. You want a nice haircut? Mr. Figaro, a.k.a. Jerry May, has been cutting hair most of his 65 years, mainly because he says he couldn't cut it as a professional singer. People listen to him now, though. I guess when you're swinging around sharp objects, even a 14-year-old Guns N' Roses fan will appreciate opera. Not to give the impression Mr. Figaro keeps a captive audience. He's got a fair number of people who hang around after their haircut's over, just to hear more music. My favorite was Jose, the building superintendent from down the street, who seemed moved to tears, and it was an aftershave in his eye. They find his music truly moving here. Gather round outside, pull the big wheel over for a little listen, because Mr. Figaro can cut through to your soul, and if you're patient, he may eventually get around to cutting your hair. Steve Hartman, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Music in Sheepshead Bay. Wonderful. <laughs> Music in Sheepshead Bay and the Mets in Pittsburgh.